this is gray code finding another way if you want to find gray code of any number how can you find this is another way so for any decimal number m if you have any decimal number m you for you want to find directly if you want to find the gray code for this if you want to find the gray code directly then what you can do if you want to find directly then what you can do very simple you take this m bitwise xor this is bitwise xor this bitwise xor you study in the uh, you study in the c programming so you do m xor m by 2 isn't it interesting like for example like if i want to find let's assume i give you decimal 29 okay and if i want to find what is the gray code what is the gray code of 29 this is what i want to find one method you already know what is that the first method tell me what is the first method you find the binary the first method you already know that you find the binary this will be the binary correct from this binary what you will do you will find the gray code this is the first method find the gray code this one as it is xor of 1 comma 1 that will be zero xor of 1 comma 1 that will be zero xor of 1 comma 0 that will be 1 xor of this that will be 1 so like this you can find this is your answer another way what is that this is your m okay so what is this this is 11101 11, now you also find m by 2 you also find m by 2 what is m by 2 tell me what is m by 2 that is a uh, 14 okay that is 14 14 is so write 14 that is 0 1110 now you take their xor their bitwise xor you do bitwise xor so you will get 11001 same answer yes or no same answer is this clear so like this also you can find isn't it interesting this is very simple actually in the gate exam what they can do in this type of question they can give this type of question they can give that so some program they can give the beauty of this the beauty of this uh, this this is a, that they can give you some program they can give you some program they can give you okay some main and something okay some some c program they can give you and in the c program what they will give you some int m okay so automatically what will happen automatically binary will be stored yes or no automatically binary will be stored in your computer if you do int m then the binary will be stored next what they will do they will do int a equal to m by 2 this this operator what this operator does in c programming what this operator does in the c programming this will give you basically this will give you m by 2 basically this will give you m by 2 floor okay this will be give, this will give you the quotient so m by 2 floor now what they can do they can do bit okay so some for loop they can put they can put some for loop something okay i don't know what they will do or maybe they can do like this this r is equal to bitwise xor bitwise xor of a comma m what is the symbol for bitwise xor the symbol for bitwise xor a comma m so i think this is the symbol for bitwise xor okay so you can check so they can give you a xor m isn't it simple now now this question they are asking and they will ask you return r return r okay something like this what is r or maybe something like what is r they can ask you okay what is the content of r so tell me what is the content of r what is the content of r that is gray code of that is gray code of m very good okay the answer will be gray code of m so the content of r will be gray code of m gray code of m so like this they can ask this type of question they can ask you is it clear tell me this is the beauty of this method alternative method gray code finding alternative method alternative method this is the alternative method if you have any number then if you want to find the gray code very simple m bitwise xor with m by 2 m bitwise xor with m by 2 like this 29 this 29 bitwise xor with 14 
this will be the gray code of 29 this is your gray code of 29 and this is the beauty of this algorithm this uh, this method that they can create some kind of c programming they can create i don't know what they will create yes or no in the gate exam i don't know what they will do but they can do something like this something like this they can do and then you will get gray code of m so in your okay whenever you see this type of situation now if you see this type of situation like m exclusive bitwise xor if you see this type of situation what will come to your mind tell me if you see bitwise xor m bitwise xor with m by 2 m bitwise xor with m by 2 what will come to your mind this will give you this will give you gray code of m this is going to give you gray code of m any number you can take for example if you take m equal to 14 then what okay how to find this 14 means 1110 this is 14 so what is m by 2 what is m by 2 that is 7 that is 0 1 1 1 now you do their xor you do their xor so bitwise xor bitwise xor so this is the gray code of 14 you can directly find here from here also you can find gray code of 14 gray code of 14 from here also you can find the same answer you will get so this is it okay this is enough for gray code everything we have seen in the gray code everything we have seen in the gray code every definition every type of question everything yuvraj is saying i hope all these go classes exclusive things are asked in the exam competition nahi rahega okay so all these things are actually from the standard resources let me tell you like this is a simple variation of gray code okay so in the gray code we have seen everything we have seen what is the motivation why we use this gray code motivation the second second we have seen recursively how to find this recursive construction this recursive construction we have found recursive construction or i can say reflexive property this reflexive property we have seen okay reflexive property then we have seen binary to gray gray to binary binary to gray gray to binary we have seen after that what we have seen properties of gn properties of gn we have seen so properties of gn we have seen okay and finally the fifth thing we have seen alternative method okay gray code finding alternative method so if you have any decimal value if you have any decimal value m then what will be the gray code then the gray code will be m bitwise xor m by 2 okay like this the sixth thing what is the application can anyone tell me in the uh, in the last class when we were discussing binary code i told you the application what are the application error correction okay error detection error correction this is the application application is error correction error detection because you can very easily detect error don't worry this you will study in the computer network okay error detection because the hamming code is one okay application is because some there is something called hamming code this you will study in the computer network in the computer network you will study in the cn subject you will study hamming code so the hamming code is one only one distance there is one distance do you remember another application another application another application in discrete mathematics have you seen this in the discrete mathematics have you seen this like when they are one bit changing when one bit is changing when one bit is changing we connect them have you seen this hypercube graph hypercube graph hypercube graph when one bit is changing when one bit is changing we connect them we connect when one bit is changing okay hypercube graph Thank you.